many people have not explored the latent power of the human spirit. Have you ever asked yourself, is your potential equal to what men have told you you can do? What television has showed you over the years? What the education system has showed you over the years? What the political system has showed you over the years? I'm going to say something very crazy, but I'll qualify it. Yes, it's true. Because some people might have a problem with me saying it. You see, many people think it's robbery to be like God. They, they, think, they think it's robbery to be like God, of which the scriptures cannot be broken. And I'm supposed to be sorry about that because where I was raised, people used to convince us how human we are. Some of you, you've been so deceived that everything that happens in your life, you're so conscious of your human nature. Everything is in your ability as a human being. Human beings are limited. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. The Greek word there for kingdom is realm. No man can walk in the realm of God in the flesh. Praise God. You have to walk there in the spirit. And whether you want it or not, there are things you and I are able to do that the men of this world cannot do because they are fleshy. They are of the earthly. But we carry lordship from above, which is the spirit that is at work within us. One time I was preaching for a couple of days and I was very tired. Very, very tired. I remember I was driving home. And then I reach a certain corner and I feel I'm so tired and I fall asleep on the wheel. Praise God. About three kilometers from home. And I slept and I woke up in a split second on the gate. There is something we are. If I tell that to somebody who has read many books, they'll not understand me. It's easy to entice with man's wisdom. Praise God. But Paul says that my language and my message were not set forth in persuasive, enticing, and plausible words of wisdom. But they were in the demonstration of the Holy Spirit and the power, a proof, listen, by the Spirit and power of God operating on me. He says, and stirring in the minds of my ears the most holy emotions. And that's persuading them. That place where, you, oh God, you go beyond ministering in the wisdom of men. Until a man's spirit understands that this guy is speaking from a place. From a place. Now, that is for a preacher. But it's supposed to apply for everybody. Your business must not be set up in the wisdom of men. Hallelujah. Your career must not be set up in the wisdom of men. It must stir up the, in the minds of people around you the most holy emotions. There has to be something emanating out of your spirit. When it goes out, men just feel like they need Jesus. The Bible says, Ten shall come and hold of your lap and say, Let us walk with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The, listen, I was sharing with people and I told them, The speed at which the world is moving cannot be compared with the speed at which the church is moving. Praise God. The guys of the world have tapped into the spirit. The Bible says the sons of this world have become wiser than the sons of light in their generations. The word their generation is gene. It has their genes have adopted and mutated and changed so fast that they're doing way too much by the spirit than born again Christians are. You're telling me Air, 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 Airbnb is probably the biggest hotel business in the world, right? But I don't even have a single hotel. Uber is the biggest taxi company in the world, but I don't even have a single taxi. You get my point? IBM Watson is giving legal advice, more accurate than a normal human being. But if I ask you, what is IBM? It's a system. It's a system. How did these guys get to know that I can create something like this and then it has this much influence without me investing too much physically? Because they've learned to attack attach themselves to a world that we're supposed to be so used with. He said you're supposed to be the heads and not the tail. The best engineers are supposed to be tongue speaking. The best doctors are supposed to be tongue speaking. The best career men are supposed to be tongue speaking. The most influential business people in the world are supposed to be tongue speaking. We're supposed to receive heavenly vibe quicker than anybody. Why? Because anything called invention, Proverbs is clear, wisdom is the mother of all witty inventions. That means that the men of this world have tapped into the wisdom of the spirit. While Christians are speaking tongues, but they are indifferent to knowledge and the wisdom which is of God. And because 
because they're indifferent. We are more excited, it's true. We're getting slain and getting up, getting dirty clothes and stuff, but nothing is changing with us. Something has to change. Something has to change. We are that city on a hill. We are the light that cannot be hid. And I thank God that prophecy is being fulfilled before our eyes. He said, nothing is hidden shall not be revealed. Oh, we have to be revealed. I said, we have to be revealed. The Bible says the path of the just shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. The light of this gospel is very clear. Everything that ought to be known of God. Listen, everything, this is the light, that ought to be known of God is manifested in them. For God has revealed it unto them. Even the invisible things that are not seen. Even the Godhead. He says that now men are without excuse. That is the light of our gospel. Everything they know about God is manifested in us. What do you know about God? The Bible says now because of that indifference, they've turned this God, the image of the incorruptible God, into something corruptible and small. We make God so small. We believe for so small. The Bible says, whether Apollos or Paul, he began with Revelation. He began with Revelation. Whether Apollos or Paul whether things present or things to come. He says, all are yours and ye are Christ's. It begins with revelation. Everything that might be known of God is manifest in them because God has revealed it unto them. It begins with revelation. That the Lord of, will grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and, and, and knowledge in the revelation of Jesus, the knowledge of Jesus. It begins with revelation. It begins with knowledge. It begins with knowledge. But we don't know much. That is why we don't manifest much. Or at least not according to the wisdom which is of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now imagine this as I finish. Imagine this. The Bible tells you that everything known of God is manifested in you. It's not going to be manifested. According to God, it's already done. He predestinates you. He calls you. He justifies you. He glorified. It's past tense. You understand what I'm saying? But then I've been to meetings where people call upon the glory of God. You, you're glorified. You, the, your presence brings glory. Your presence brings glory. You don't need to pray. We don't pray for fire from out. No. According to him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which we hope all dare to ask. According to the working power that worketh in us. But you see, because of deception, even the way we were educated, it's twisted. In fact, if you read Latin, the word there for education is translated as bringing out from within. Not just filling the head from without. We've been deceived for so long that we are told what we can do, what we cannot do. Have you ever asked yourself, is your potential equal to what men have told you you can do? What television has showed you over the years? What the education system has showed you over the years. What the political system has showed you over the years. The Lord told me that we're entering a time where the church is going to be feared. And when I mean feared, it means we're going to go just beyond the usual miracles. To miracles that scare. Do you understand what I'm saying? Many people have not explored the latent power of the human spirit. Because we are not moving in the wisdom which is of God. But a time is coming now where the wisdom of God is lightening our spirits every other day. And every other day our eyes are open to the true potential of what we can do. Philip was a normal guy like you. How could he dip a eunuch in water and disappear and is found at Azotus? Speak in the same tongues, believe in the same Bible as you are, but you're choosing to be comfortable and act like normal human beings. We are not normal. Tell your neighbor we're not normal. We don't believe normal. Our economies are not normal. We don't function normal. Even though we are in the world, the Bible says we are not all the world. It's true that you have a physical body, but there's something inside you. Oh! Let me tell you one thing about me. I chose to be crazy when I believe God. I removed the limitation of God. Of God. 
I don't limit God. I don't limit God. I don't limit God. How does he want to do it? Does he want to, whichever way. I just close my eyes and say, God, just do it. I've seen miracles. You could not believe things that would scare human beings to believe they exist. Why? Because I just close my eyes and say, you are God. I'm not limiting you. Tell your neighbor, take the limits of God for once. Be delivered. Let your faith loose. Why? Because we're entering the end time harvest. We're entering the end time harvest. And men cannot continue believing simply because we talk things that don't make sense. The wisdom of God revealed equals to the power of God functioning in your life. Jesus, the wisdom and the power of God. That is why he says, how be it to them which are mature. He says, we do impart this wisdom. We do impart to them which are mature. There are things you cannot teach. There are things you cannot really impart. That is why when he's talking about Apollos, he says, of these things I have in a figure transferred unto Apollos. There are things we might never teach you. But there are things you can only find in such conferences. In such conferences. They just transfer to your spirit. And God gives you the articulation because the convictions of our life and the testimony of Jesus are way bigger than human language. They're bigger. You remember when Paul is talking about the third dimension? He says, and he went to the third dimension. He says, and he saw things which were not lawful to utter. The Amplified says, things which the human language had no power to put into words. Oh, do you know what it means to carry things that human language has not the power? In other words, it requires power to even put into words these things. The word of God is powerful. You see, let me say something that I think I'll finish with. Do you know many of you, you're so behind in the things of the spirit because you wait you wait to see things and then they happen you wait to see you wait to see you see you wait upon God and then you see them you say ah that because I saw it you need a vision you need a dream to make it happen Listen, just get the word of God. The word of God is eyes. It's eyes. Praise God. You don't need to wait to see. No, you just need the word of God and then you choose what to see. <laughs> Let me explain it. Remember Joshua. He tells him, you shall meditate on these things. This book of the law shall not depart from thy mouth. You shall meditate therein day and night. The book of the word, right? And he says, next verse, that thou mayst observe to do. He didn't say, and you should observe to do. Because to do is not an instruction. To do is a result of the two instructions. Any man who meditates on the word of God and speaks it, the miracles, the signs, the wonders, they just work. They just work that thou mayst observe that thou mayst observe that thou mayst observe he didn't say and thou mayst observe or should observe he says that thou mayst observe it has when you meditate the right message and speak the right message you don't worry about the results and here is the power he says and you shall make your way prosperous and have good success the bible would not have things like whatsoever you ask so you think, ah, oh, you know, the Lord, you know, he, he made me like that way. You know, I'm going to have a church of 10 members, drive one car, have two children and four grandchildren, and I'll be good. I'll go to heaven. No. <laughs> Let me tell you to every pastor listening to me right now. You determine how many people you want to pastor. Make your way prosperous. You make your way prosperous. You determine how big your business is going to be. God is not going to... No, he gave you the word. He gave you the word. He, gave, he says to whichever measure is meant to hear, the same measure shall be given to you. The more you hear, the more you can do. The more you hear, the more you can do. The more you hear, the more you can do. You don't wait for a vision. You have the word of God. He told Abraham, look north, south, east, west, as far as your eyes can see. I've given the walk. And Abraham walked. Now, Abraham walked in Canaan and walked past Canaan and walked the whole world. 
next thing we know he's called the father of all nations why because when he closed his eyes he went past Canaan and walked to the end of the earth God says for as far as your eye can see I'm not limiting you I'm not limiting the size of your business I'm not limiting the size of your ministry I'm not limiting the size of I'm not limiting anything on you you are limiting yourself Close your eyes and say, God, I'm choosing to do things way beyond eye has seen, no ear has had. He says, but he has revealed it unto us by his spirit. I'm choosing to believe God for things I have not seen. Let men have walked, that has been seen. Dead men have been raised, that one has been had. I'm talking of what I, I don't know what I have not seen. He says, but he hath revealed it unto us by his spirit. Do you know what it means to walk with the revelation of things you've not seen or heard, but it's inside you? praise God and you're pregnant of something that you have no name for it and I feel like anything else because everybody who is see pregnant and giving birth then look like the way you're feeling and what is coming out of them then look like what is coming out of you you feel that something inside you is different tell your neighbor dream bigger dream bigger praise God and so the Lord spoke to me and told me we are entering a season and thank God for prophecy. In the last days, knowledge shall be increased. And as God continues to reveal these things to us, our eyes are opening. Let me tell you something. God is pouring out in this generation than he has ever poured out before. The only problem is you're going to find men who, some of them didn't go anywhere. They were not told anywhere. You remember Jesus? We found man, man, casting out devils in your name and we forbade him because he didn't follow with us. Because God is too desperate to move that he's teaching men in valleys, in, 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 in different lands, in, in the poorest places of this world, in the most foolish things and least expected ways. I wish they asked Jesus, how did this man learn if he didn't walk with you? It's about time God starts to open some of our eyes and ears to understand. Who told you you have to be that age to get a job? The world told you. Who told you that the economy is bad? The world told you. Who told you that you can't do this in this kind of place, in that situation? The world did tell you. And you believed it. You believed it. You believed it. I can do all things. I carry the righteousness which is by faith. The Bible says that the Lord shall grant the desires of the righteous. <laughs> Start to meditate and speak the craziest things in your room. Are you hearing me? I told people we preached in stadiums in our bedrooms and we would sweat and they looked at us as mad. Why? Because we had refused to be conformed to the standard of this world. This world is lack. So it will always remind you how much you need, how much you don't have. But God has told you you've been given all things that pertain to life and godliness. You've been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We don't have any excuse anymore not to be a success. How do you receive this wisdom? By faith. Then you're never going to learn it in 20 years. But through faith we understand. Praise God. That the worlds were framed by the word of God. Worlds, not world. Worlds. In other words, the spirit world is full of different worlds. You can belong to any world. <laughs> you can choose to live normal and die normal. We'll bury you. You can choose to live as a man and woman of faith. You can create your world even in this dispensation. It's not by power not by might but by his spirit tonight I decree and I declare as I believe that that wisdom is already in the inside of you that it's going to start flowing out somebody raise your hands in the air can you say something the Bible says the Lord has given me the tongue of the land to know how to speak a word to him that is weary in season and he openeth my ears to hear as one which is learned. 
and the stability of the spirit is with me he says for in your day wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times and the strength of your salvation can you start to receive it tonight can you start to receive it tonight receive it tonight